Hey, it's Joe Glines, and uh, in this session of uh, what I automated lately with AutoHotKey, I want to demonstrate a little tool I built um, with Maestrith. I mean, he did some a lot of the heavy lifting, but uh, we put together, especially the GUI part, because I suck at GUIs. Anyway, um, the client had a spreadsheet, and um, in certain columns they had... Um, let me back up a bit and tell you the background, because the, the, the client, there was a, a research company, and they were getting these reports, and um, they would have hundreds of things that had been um, in a different language, say Spanish or French or Italian, German. I think they were doing it in 13 languages. I forget exactly. But uh, the, uh, the thing was they had like four or 500 rows of data that needed to be translated, and they were sending them out to a translation company and that took like two weeks to get them to turn it around and by time when when my client got them they had to, the their client wanted the work right away and so they had to cram really really hard to get things done quickly and um, she's like hey is there you know is there anything you can do to help us with this because this is just ridiculous so i said well you know google a api has a google translate thing so um why don't why don't i do one why don't you give me one where you actually translated it and let me we'll do the side by side comparison we'll use google translate and you can be the judge of you know is it is the english i'm sorry is the human version better so they um it took uh Maester and i i'd say eh, three hours two to three hours to get this thing done i mean it, we had the initial part done quickly and then uh but we made it a little jazzier, made it easier because they wanted it to use it themselves, right? If it was just us doing it, we would have been done in, in 30 minutes, I think. But um, they wanted something to run themselves. And so anyway, we did the first thing and they actually, when I gave them the results, they they said back, they're like, this is crazy. These are these translations are actually better than the humans did that we waited two weeks for. And then also cost them hundreds of dollars to do, right? And we're doing them with the Google Translate in seconds, um, 30 seconds, you know, it'll run. Um, and so it was, they, the client was really, really happy. Um, it's just a great example. So I'll walk through the code here in a second. First, I want to demonstrate it. So let me go ahead and I'm going to launch it just while I'm here. Um, now, in, in ex let's get back to the GUI here. So... It's going to look at, um, I think it looks at column A, but you can change the column translated here. Um, and you can type in, I think these will allow, yeah. So if you had to go further up, you could do that. That's the great thing about combo boxes. So we'll stick with column A and column B. That's where you want to put it. Um, if you don't know what language it is, um, you can hit discover language. If not, you just check the, the language. This is actually Spanish, but let's discover language. It should yeah, grab Spanish. And we, we limited it to what we want to translate into because for the most part, it, you know, we want English. Um, but you can just hit, let me move this out of the way here. And you're going to see when I hit translate, it's going to go through, cranked it out. Gives us a little, this is the, the notify function that I just did the other day a video on. Um, what I did was I, I went in and used Google Translate to translate a couple things on my website. Um, and so that's, it did a pretty good job, I think, of, uh, of course, we're using Google Translate to translate in Spanish and then convert it back from Spanish into English. But um, anyway, it's pre pretty awesome. Um, it, it What it does is it looks, you know, in each row and says, hey, wherever there's data here, um, try to translate it and then put it into this column. So uh, anyway, I thought it was pretty cool. Let me let me do a little demonstration, the uh, walkthrough of the code. The one thing I will say is, uh, you know, you have to get a uh, a Google API uh, your own token. And let's see, right here, any read, I have mine stored in a file. I'll show you the the file. Um, it's uh, right here. I'm not going to open it, but um, I'm using the any read. What you would want to do is, if you don't want to do that, is just put. Um, you would store your key. That would be your key, right? Whatever you put in there. Um, or you can do it like mine. This way I can share my files with people and I don't have to worry that I'm giving out my, my secret token values because it costs a little bit of money. That probably cost me like, you know, four cents or something to translate. Um, it's ridiculous how cheap it is. Uh, so this is just connecting to the open version of Excel. If it's not, it'll put, if, if Excel isn't open, or if this comes back as blank, it'll say, hey, please start Excel first. As I said, we were giving this to the client, so it had to have a little bit of checking in it. Um, Here's where we put in, we built an object to store the, uh, the this this is what you need to be passing for the API call um, for each one of these. And so we wanted, because our client, let me read, is it still running? Yeah. The client, they didn't always know these two letter abbreviations, right? For some languages, it wasn't quite clear what they were for. So we said, hey, let's put it in the actual, the words, and then 
will have the the two pair the key um, the value for it for what to translate it into. Um, throw it into this is all stuffing into the GUI and what we're gonna do. Uh, we built a little refresh thing, so there's a refresh function. So if here, if we updated something, we could hit refresh and it goes back and looks at the data, the, the spreadsheet. Um, the detect was a built-in, I think down here somewhere. Where did it go? I thought there was one for detecting. Language, oh, there's language, okay. So that just goes, and that's how it, it, it it's a, a different endpoint to look for the translations, um, to, for it to detect. So it reads something and reads a couple of values, thinking, <coughs> guesses what language it is. It's usually pretty accurate, too. Um, uh, but this is it. So it's a total of less, well, well, 100, let's say 100 lines, roughly. Now that notify function is in another file, so that's a little bit, you know, another 100 lines or so. But um, all in all, pretty pretty slick, right? And the ability, oh, my, actually, I'm using my Excel function too. So you'd have to have all three of those things. I will pack this up. That's the great thing about Studio, right? I can, I can pack it up, and it'll pull in those other functions for me, and I'll share that. Um, Again, you'll have to get your own authorization key, but I just thought that was a cool thing to be able to, to, to demonstrate. Um, and, and one is just what a great win for automation, right? Of instead of spending hundreds of hundreds of dollars and waiting two weeks and being behind the ball, that they could get these sayings and within a minute, you know, have good solid translations, cost a lot less, and turn it around and look like miracle workers. So hope that helps. Cheers.